Hey everybody. Um, so I know the baby cam isn't live right now, but I'm live because I'm painting the studio. And as soon as I'm done here, I'll be able to get the baby cam going. So uh, you're welcome to watch me paint. I'm not going to leave the uh, live on to watch the paint dry. That would be boring. So if you uh, want to just watch me paint, you're more than welcome to. And uh, rescue work is you just you just do a variety of things. And uh, today it's painting the studio. It was this dark blue for a couple years, and I'm gonna try a nice light um, brown. So, just uh, you're welcome to join. So, why is it getting painted? Uh, I just explained it. But, but there are people getting uh, on now, so. Okay, so we are starting Horse Rescue Heroes season four, and that's where we went to other organizations, and we're gonna be filming that actually starting tomorrow. And we're going to be releasing it more while we film it. So you guys will get really involved with all the organizations that come to uh, the events that we mentor. So it's going to be a great season. It's going to be quite a bit different. So hope you all enjoy it. And with that difference comes a different color for the uh, studio. So Janice says hi. Hi, Janice. Both of us. Um, so yeah, we're just, uh, you can walk in front. It's fine. Oh. Oh, <laughs> um, so yeah, it's getting, it's getting painted. Um, it's going to take a little bit to, to get it all done, but it looks like everyone's jumping on. Um, all right. Good morning, everybody. And just want to say if, if you don't want to watch the painting process, you don't have to just because we're live doesn't, uh, doesn't mean that you need to watch, but this is definitely part of the behind the scenes on our YouTube. Uh, oh, Daisy donated $20. Oh, wow. Thank you, Daisy. That will almost pay for the paint. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Um, and so there's a lot that goes into our YouTube channel behind the scenes. And um, you just saw Jason like fling paint all around. So this is on a concrete slab. Um, this actually used to be on um, a for our longtime followers, we had a little baby donkey in a heated stall, and um, where, a yeah, a little Benjamin, where uh, we're painting used to be his stall, because um, now we have a veterinarian barn with heated stalls, um, and uh, John, do you want to do you want to come explain why we're painting over here? He since since he, he came, oh, we had enough conversations. I think I'm back so up just a looks, little bit. Yeah. Okay. You're good. So it looks better for the next season of Horse Rescue. Okay. And more. Okay. So we're going to okay. use this studio for more things too. So. Okay. So, yep. John John hopped in here, so I made him get in front of the camera. Um, so we got a hello from South Africa. All right. Um, lots going on here. I do have to, um, oh. Erica donated five dollars. Oh, thank you, Erica. Um, so I'm not gonna be able to read the comments. Um, I won't either. I'm so you just get to watch Jason paint. Um, I'm gonna go help the vet. Uh, yesterday we took over well 122 X-rays of horses, and we had all different types of uh, things that we were X-raying. We knew there was a lot that we needed to X-ray, and so we had like an X-ray day. And um, let me see on my phone, I might be able to show you some of the x-rays that we took. Because um, when horses have behavioral issues, a lot of times it's linked to uh, pain. Um, so let me see if I can hold this up here where you can see it. Okay, so that right there is in the spine, and it's actually the spine rubbing together. It's called kissing spine, and it's very painful. Um, for horses. So that was another one uh, horse that had back issues um, that we found in the x-ray. And then um, another horse that had behavioral problems, um, which we thought were behavioral problems, but it was actually, I don't know if I can hold that up where you can see it. Um, part of its spine was broken off there on those bones, um, right there. Um, so we had a horse with a broken back. Well, or a full injury. Here. Oh yeah. Hey, hey. Um. No good. So we're we're diving in very deep diagnostically with uh, Dr. Nancy with these horses that have behavioral problems, and for me, just watching all of this happen. Um, you know, I used to work at a vet office, and we would take an X-ray, take the plate in 
put it in the scanner thing, it would read it. Oh, it's blurry, we gotta go take another one. Because we have a digital x-ray machine here, we are able to take, you know, over 100 x-rays in a day at the bottom of what these horses' problems are. So you could have a horse that has a back problem and the horse is in pain, but it can't tell you. The only way it can tell you is when you're riding it, it's bucking, it's, uh, when you go to get on, it's moving all over the place. And because we were able to do such thorough x-rays now and with Dr. Nancy looking in and seeing, okay, this is what this horse's problem is. It's not being a bad horse. It's just saying, I am really hurting and I have no other way to tell you I'm hurting other than not letting you on my back. Um, and so it's just a huge blessing to be able to get to the bottom of these major health problems that are affecting a horse's quality of life. A lot of times horses end up at auctions <clears throat> because of their behavioral problems. But it, like we found yesterday, these behavioral problems are linked to serious medical conditions that are causing horse pain. Um, so that was that was a really um, nice nice thing to be able to get to the bottom of. So we, we, we know what's happening with these horses so we can have them not suffering. So, um, and then I've got more x-rays I've got to help with today too. So I'm, I'm a busy person. I'm gonna step away here. I uh, hope you enjoyed some of these updates. I'm gonna turn the camera. Um, so I have it right over to the corner now. Okay. And then it's like halfway through the wall. How many people are watching me paint? We've got 96 people right. watching and there's right. been $51 raised. Woo. Well, that definitely covers the paint, so. Thank you guys so much. I don't know if anybody's bought paint recently. It's gone from like 10 to $15 a gallon up to like 30, 40. It's, everything is going up, so. Yes. Well, we definitely appreciate that. Let's yeah. Um, so yeah, this is a horse stall. That's why it's a uh, horizontal boards. And uh, Tony and I have this problem of thinking smaller than we should. And when we built our uh, office here, we're like, oh, we'll have an indoor horse stall. And little did we know that a couple years later, we would have <laughs> lots of indoor horse stalls, including in the vet hospital. So. Okay, so we do have a couple more questions I'm going to answer. Okay. The auction rescue, what we're planning on is the 21st, so not today. Um, it's 21st is, is our goal uh, to go to the auction that day. Um, and then did the x-ray end up, um, let's see, yes, there were horses that we found had quality of life issues where we did have to give them the last act of kindness because of what we found in those x-rays. It will be coming out in the episodes, um, so stay tuned so you can, you can watch that. Well, I know there was one in the last episode with the intake. Yes, definitely watch watch our oh, episodes. Kate, Kate, Kate. Yeah. Wouldn't you rather be doing this? You're doing such a great job. I'm gonna yeah. let. You. I'm, hold on, hold oh, on. Man. Oh, live. Ah, uh, yeah, you're live. Uh, you're doing such a great job. I'm just gonna let you do it. Well, what I'm thinking though is you're in your uniform, and since you're in your uniform, I won't let you paint because you might get paint on it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Let's we'll go with that. <laughs> At least mud washes out. So. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say, I, I had a sprayer, the sprayer, if you want to spray Did you know the sprayers atomize the paint and it floats through oh, the air? It floats everything. Over. Yeah, poor Christy's desk would be coated. Uh, 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 she, she don't, she'd have like the white highlights. Yeah, yeah. that'd be nice. Yeah, she gets some, people think it's gray hair though. Like the highlights just never look great when it's from paint, so. Yeah. All right, we'll see you, Keith. All right, I am taking off. Um, thank you all so much for your support. And you leave him with me and my dad jokes? Oh no, I'm I'm sorry, y'all. I have no idea what he might say. I've been I've been tomorrow. trying to I've been trying to train him for 20 years, and I don't know. Best <clears throat> uh, of luck to y'all. Um, and um, yeah, hi. hi. I'm gonna turn it over. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, you're videoing for our weekly episodes, just giving us an yes. update. Yes. Yeah. So I need to catch the little. A little bit. All right. Well, I am going to step away. And I keep, I have to leave. But if you see any interesting uh, comments when you're, uh, when you're watching over there, you might uh, let Jason know so he can answer them. So good luck, y'all. I've been this before. This is not coming down yet. Uh. So 
I'll have no way of knowing what y'all are saying to me. So if you're typing, you're typing to each other, you're not typing to me. Um, I am finishing up with the roller for now. And I have to get out my brush and a metal chair. And yeah, <clears throat> sometimes you got to use the little things in life. Or the seams. Are we doing two coats of this? Yep. Awesome. Well, at least one and a half. Okay. And what do I mean by one and a half coats, you might ask? That means that I don't wait until it dries. It means I come back and hopefully it gets tacky enough to sticks um. so that I'm still here instead of coming back. Okay, that makes yeah. sense. It's good that you're tall enough to do that. Sort of. I'm going to have to for that and then oh, yeah, yeah, get yeah. up on something. Well, I'll be back. Right, cool. <laughs> so my mind went blank. I can't think of any great jokes right now. Um, uh, yeah, but maybe something will come to mind. When I get in a work mood, I, I tend to get out of a funny mood. And oh, yeah, yeah. I think that most guys are able to differentiate between that. Um, Music joke for you guys. All right. Why do uh, pirates like singing in choirs? Because they can hit the high C's. All right, that's terrible. <sighs> Poor Christine. Christine, go make it, y'all. Something that I do a lot of 
when I'm not working here. Plus, so I'm not what I consider a professional painter because I like to get it done and over with. But as long as I don't have to um, protect an edge or something, I'm, I'm much better. And if I have to uh, paint fine details, I, need to, I kind of struggle with that. That's a great way to make a donation, too. How many phone-in donations do we get, Christy? Um, Not counting auction. I know auction gets a little crazy. Um, a few a week? Few. Most people donate. Not less than 10. Yeah, most people but donate online. I do get some through emails, you uh -huh. know, when I up my donation or change my donation and stuff like that, so. Yeah. So online is actually one of the best ways to donate because it doesn't take time to receive your donation, and it's just so convenient, but if you ever want to talk to somebody, um, 800 474 I do believe. Or is it 888? You know, it's 888. 888-474-7077. Extension 1. Extension 1 to get connected right to Chris. That's pretty cool. <sighs> Twist this here a little bit more. Let me read some comments here. All right. We're watching paint dry. Up next, we watch the grass grow. Exactly. All right. We're going to get the baby watching going. No, we're not watching paint dry. We're watching Jason paint. I already told you all at the beginning. I'm not going to make you watch it dry. So, um, yeah. So, oh, okay. Let me get this twisted here. Very good. How many uh, sit does it take to change a light bulb? I have no idea. Two, one to do all the work, the other kill him and take all the credit. Yeah, there you go. All right. Violet humor is us some days. Um, so, yes, the baby cam is going to come back as soon as I'm done painting and I can get out there and get it going. They're not delivering this morning. You're not missing anything. But I really do appreciate y'all watching that because that's pretty awesome. How many, how many people watch it? It's like, I do believe there's a community growing just watching the two horses. Rebecca? Yes, they would like to hear the phone number again. For okay. Donations. Our phone number is 1-888-474-7077. Yeah. Do y'all remember those old uh, telethons where, like, somebody was raising money and they'd, they'd have a guy in front of TV talking and he's like, I can't get off this, I can't stop until we've raised, you know, $100,000. The phones are ringing, have people in the background. Yeah, that, I'm not doing that right now, y'all. I'm just painting. And I thought they might want to, y'all might want to watch me paint, so. You don't have to watch me paint. You can go watch uh, cats jumping away from uh, cucumbers. Um, those are kind of funny. You could go watch reruns of the baby cam, even though you already know nobody gave birth. Um, you could watch reruns of Horse Plus Vets, talking about Horse Plus Vets. The uh, one video just hit over 100,000 views on Horse Plus Vets, which I think is phenomenal for a new channel. And uh, it's the open hoof surgery. And yeah, I thought that did, it's doing really well. I think people are enjoying watching that. And uh, so if you haven't checked it out, uh, YouTube forward slash, I think it's the at sign Horse Plus Vets. Do you know one of our Horse Plus Vets videos got over 100,000 views? Wow. Yeah. That's incredible. It is incredible. That's a So, yeah, I'll repeat. Um, the reason, one of the reasons I'm painting, I know it's a little camera's a little crooked, but you know, we're just going to have to deal with that. The reason I'm painting is we're starting filming for Horse Rescue Heroes Season 4. 
um, starting tomorrow, and we've had a lot of organizations apply. And we're going to do it quite a bit different. We're actually going to try to, I think I've said this publicly, we're going to try to be able to mentor 25 organizations this year. But the sad thing is, and the glad thing, so, you know, neutral, but um, what's very interesting is we've had much more than that apply. And so we're actually going to have to go through and figure who can we mentor. But 25 organizations, so. Whew. We, uh, apparently, we are either a button for punishment, which is very likely. We, we believe y'all when you say we can do anything, although I know we can't. Or we just want to share the knowledge we've gained over the last 20 years of rescuing horses. And part of that knowledge is how to paint effectively. That was a joke, by the way. And I heard Christy snickering back there. Not everybody gets my sense of humor, and I've had to uh, make it not quite so dark and mocker bay, I think it's called. But uh, make it more suitable for general, 100% all audiences, people who uh, don't understand my sense of humor. Angela, our shelter manager, gets my sense of humor. Connie gets my sense of humor, she just doesn't find it funny all the time. Um, because it's not. I'll be the first to admit, I was not a born stand-up comedian. So this guy was uh, driving down the road. There's a joke coming up. This guy was driving down the road, and this uh, officer turns on his lights behind him. And so he speeds away. Whoa, he's doing like 130. Whoa, flying around. Finally, a car runs out of gas, pulls over. The cop comes up. He's like, why were you running from me? He's like, well, you see, officer, my wife ran off with a cop. I was afraid you're bringing her back. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. That means somebody else come talk to y'all for a second. Otherwise, you literally will be watching paint dry while I run out to my truck and get another tool. So I have a handy little um, edger that I can do the top edge super easy way. But it's in my truck, and I'm not. And I know Christy probably doesn't want to come talk to y'all for 37 seconds. One more joint. So I used to be a stonemason. And for those of you that uh, don't know uh, what stonemasons are, they uh, they really they just they work with uh, natural rock and artificial rocks and whatnot. But um, very physically demanding work. Pays very well though. But um, anyway, in between the rocks, there's these things called joints. And uh, there, there's a, there's a point of this story. And so you lay your rock like in a wall or a fireplace or on the ground. And in between the joints, you have to actually keep it clean on natural rock. It's not like tile where you just throw your throw your grout all over it. You have to actually very, I think medically would be the right way to describe it, apply the uh, grout in between the uh, joints. And uh, so anyway, so you're working with stone and you're uh, doing the joints. So anyway, stonemasons are a bunch of stoners that do joints all the time. This is coming from a guy who's never touched drugs in his life. Oh boy, another terrible joke. All right, did you get that one, Christy? I did, I laughed. Okay, she laughed. Good deal. Um, well, nobody's coming to talk to y'all. Maybe I'll just have to take it now. I don't want you to see my messy truck. Okay. You can come talk to them for a second? Yeah, why not? Okay, Chris is going to come talk to y'all. You can talk to them about donations. You can talk to them about you can tell them jokes if you want. I don't know any. All right, so you want to stand over here in front of them. Good morning, everybody. I'm Christy. I'm the bookkeeper in HR. Um, just want to tell our donors how amazing they are, and you guys do such a great job. Um, without you, we would not be able to rescue these horses and do the great work that we do. Not only do we rescue horses, we rescue other animals. And um, seeing how I'm the bookkeeper, I see all the wonderful uh, donations that come in, and it's just a wonderful thing you guys do, and it's great to continue to do the great work that we're doing. So we appreciate it so very much. Yeah, right. Everybody.
Everybody like Pat Christie. So this right here is a very fancy tool. It's got a little bit of a fuzz down here on the bottom. It's got wheels, which are not going to work because it's acoustic foam on the top. This, whoever invented this, deserves however much money they make. And I don't even care how much money they make, they deserve it. I've never seen one of those, Jason. Yeah, they're, they're phenomenal. better on drywall, but it's working fine. Look at that. Oh, can you guys see that? Let me check. You don't even have nope. to use tape. There you are. Oh, I hate tape. Um, so I put masking tape down sometimes. I'm trying to do a really clean job. I put masking tape down, and I uh, paint, and everything's good, and I pull the masking tape up, and I pull the fill paint behind the masking tape. Oh, so yeah. I, That's terrible. Yes, I make frog tape, which is supposed to fix that. It's like $25 for a 50 foot roll or something. It's just so dumb. I just, I can't do it. So what is that called again, Jason? Just an edger. Just an edger. Uh, you can get them at uh, various places, such as Walmart. And if, I, if, it was a, if it was solid above it, I'd just use little wheels and you just wheel right along. Yeah. Phenomenal tool for things like that. literally down here a couple more minutes and I'm going to turn on the baby cam. You guys can uh, migrate over that live. I can't uh, I'm using my phone for this live so I can't. Just seamlessly transition plus the title would make it where people aren't watching. But uh, I'm sure that uh, there is no popularity contest between me and Kissing and Candy because they win every single time. I hope. I would feel awkward if I got more views than them. All right, let me make sure you guys can still see. How are people watching? All right, well, I'm glad y'all didn't have anything better to do than to watch me paint and watch paint dry. Um, because it's a lonely job. If, uh, if it wasn't for YouTube, I'd have to talk to Christy, and she's got work to do. And uh, bookkeepers are boring. Right? Bookkeepers? They want their job might be boring. I don't find pe the people boring. I find their job boring <laughs> because I've done it too much. And uh, actually, no, bookkeeping is very intellectually stimulating. And uh, especially when you're off by more than five cents, because if you're off by five cents at the end of the year, it really doesn't necessarily. Yeah, it matters. But um, that is the nice thing about bookkeeping is you can be mathematically perfect all year long. But it's hard. It's super hard. And uh, even the IRS is like, if it's you're just round to the closest dollar, y'all, we don't even want your cents anymore. Talking about IRS, I've recently uh, become inclined to disbelief on how much income tax they like taking from people whose children start aging out. It's painful. I'm one of them. Yeah. When you see politicians, and I'm not going to get political because that's not the point of Horse Plus, although we would like a horse lot out loud. Um, when you hear politicians talking about lowering taxes, they're actually talking about people like Christy and I. They're not talking about the Donald Trumps of this world. Because I don't want to pick on Trump or Elon Musk or uh, 
Soros or you know any of these guys that have so much money, they hire accountants that solve all their problems for them, and they just pay enough taxes so it looks like they're paying their fair share. But uh, now, when you hear politicians talk about raising or lowering taxes, they're literally talking about people like Christy and I. So, something to keep in mind. And for people in other parts of the world where you pay like 70% of your income in taxes, I feel sorry for you. I don't know how I mean, you can go to work, but I guess keeping 30% of your money is better than keeping none of your money. I was done here because I cannot repaint this right now, unfortunately. The, uh, the painting because I'm basically done. There's a knot hole over there I gotta fill in. There's a couple spots there and then I need to re-roll the whole thing again. But I'm gonna let uh, let you guys start watching Kiss Me and Candy. So stay tuned. I'm gonna go get that going and uh, thank y'all for watching. I'm gonna look through the comments here real quick. See if anybody's oh yeah nobody's commenting. Everybody's quit watching. Yeah, good. People are taking care of stuff while they're doing. It. Okay, nothing better to do. <laughs> All right. Um, so I'm gonna go get again. I'm gonna go get the baby cam going, and there's gonna be more people that want to watch that. So y'all take care. I'll see you in a minute when I get it going.